Hello guys, good evening. It's uh, Glenn Smith here from Paratech UK. This is just a short video to show you the progress that we've made on the uh, the mechanism that we're using at the moment to mount the remote modules onto generic tripods. Now this method will actually work uh, on any tripod that's out there on the market. So if you already have one and you want us to convert it for you then we probably can do. Um, but we are on about supplying uh, some tripods with the initial kit that we will be sending out. Okay, when we get the kits up and running. Um, so basically what we've what we've done is we've mounted uh, a magnet onto the tripod base. Okay, and we've I've done that with all of them. So as you can see, if I back up a little bit and I hold the remote module by the tripod, and you'll see that it's on there quite good. Okay, so I don't think there's much chance of that coming off. Right, as you can see, if I move it about a little bit like that, it's on there pretty good. Now just to show you that it isn't actually glued on, or screwed on, if I twist it, and there you go. Okay, and you can you can see where it's been, there's a little bit of dust on there, off the magnet. Um, but that's what we've done, we've mounted magnets onto the tops of the tripods. Okay, so when you're on an investigation, and you're setting up your equipment, you just locate it onto the tripod like that. Oh, just drop down. Um, it is self-centering. Okay, so you ain't got to adjust it on the tripod. Right, it is self-centering. So here's our ultrasonic module, and again, this is a slightly bigger tripod. And as you can see, if I move it about like that, you know, so pretty bulletproof. I mean, if you walk into an invest, you know, to a location, and I don't know, you're walking across a field and you're bouncing it up and down like that, because I know what some people are like. <laughs> They're going to be a bit, uh, you know, a bit rough with these. But that's what we want when we're doing the, uh, when we do the initial testing and everything. We need people to test it and you know, put it through its paces. Uh, so again, just to show you, it's not actually glued on there. Right, there's the remote module there. I'll we'll turn it off. Oops, I don't know, can't get my finger in there. There you go. As I say, it's self-centering, so when you offer it up to the tripod, the magnet on top, it will actually locate on the centre, so it's already pre-centred. So you can just turn it round and, you know, adjust, adjust your tripod, whoever you want to. Okay, so obviously those are the telescopic tripods that I've uh, built today. Um, obviously you've got the little flexi tripods. So again, you'll just locate it onto there, self-centering. And there you go, you can set that up and put it wherever you want to. Okay. And then also what I've done, just get that off there. Is I've done some little bases, okay. So you can, you know, scatter, scatter these around the place. Again, self-centering. Just put it on there, and there you go. And obviously you can turn it round if you want to. It won't go nowhere. It won't fall off. Obviously that's the front of this one. That's the solar module. Okay. Um, so yeah, pretty successful. Successful test. On the uh, on the tripods, really easy to move. Just twist it off, and it comes straight off. Pop it back on, and there you go, and you're away. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that these will be standard on all the remote modules. Okay, so whether it's these ones or those ones, whichever um, remote module type that you have whether it's the uh, the movement sensors the climate the the climate or the environment ones um, we've also got larger uh, remote modules which will be for camera units 
and uh, microwave emitters and things like that. Okay, uh, but the principle will be the same. You just mount straight onto the magnet. Okay, so I mean, I think you'll agree that that's pretty. I mean, that. I mean, I mean that that's on there, good and proper. You know, I mean, you've got to be really, really heavy-handed, or you know, you've got to be really heavy-handed to get that off there. So you simply just tilt it, and just lift it away from the unit, and away it comes. Okay. So those will be what will be on offer for you. Obviously the tripods um, will make them for you. Just let us know how many you need. Whether you want the smaller ones and the bases or whether you want um, the small telescopic tripods or you know whether you want the larger tripods. Um, there's no weight in them anyway so you know we can use these lightweight aluminium ones which are relatively cheap on the market to buy. Um, but if you wanted to, we could um, put it onto, obviously, you know, our big professional tripod, which is that one, you know, that's got the uh, the big floodlight illuminator on it. But yeah, I'm very pleased with them. They're very stable. Um, I know some some people out there. Now I'm, I, I ain't mentioning names, Corinne. Um, but <laughs> there are people out there who are very heavy handed with their equipment or they used to be um, so obviously things get knocked over they get dropped and this that and the other um, but I mean that, that that's bloody sturdy I mean that ain't, that ain't gonna go nowhere you know you'd have to be a you know really careless with your equipment to damage it like that I mean obviously if you tilt it like that eventually it'll lose its grip and that's probably the best way of getting them on and off. Okay, but uh, yeah, successful test then. Um, the only thing that we have got to check, obviously, is that the magnets don't affect the accuracy of any of the equipment. Now, because the magnets are not actually moving, you're not actually creating a magnetic field because magnets have to move in order for that to, to happen. Okay, um, the magnets are static. Um, so we believe that there's not going to be any magnetic interference at all with any of the equipment which is brilliant obviously if any of the modules that we do do show signs of man magnetic interference then we will have to look at a different method of attaching them to a tripod okay but for now we're pretty confident that the magnets are not going to affect the, uh, the internal components, the batteries, the charging capability or anything like that. Um, but obviously we have got some more testing to do to rule that out once and for all. Because obviously we don't want to be making these and sending them out and, you know, people are complaining that, you know, they're getting false readings because of, you know, uh, magnetic fields um, interfering with the equipment. So that will be tested in the future before... You know, we commit to using this as a method of attachment. Okay then, guys, so thanks for watching anyway. Uh, if you've got any questions, just um, leave your questions below uh, or contact us on uh, our Facebook page of Paratech UK. Um, and then just let us know what you think, obviously. If you've got any ideas um, or any, you know, uh, any sensors that you'd like to see us have a go at developing, then... Yeah, we'll have a look at the, you know, the idea, uh, see if it's got any merit, and obviously if it's of scientific value, which is obviously the key for us, if it is of scientific value, then, then yet yeah, we will, you know, we will look into it in depth, um, and, and consider building one, but anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll keep you updated on the progress of the equipment as the, as the builds continue. Alright then. Thanks ever so much. Speak to you soon. Bye.